of space, okay? And they do these kind of things to try to get people on board with colonizing the moon and all. And the next thing you know, we're going to have military bases on the moon. Permanent military bases on the moon. I mean, think about this. This is a violation of the UN Treaty of 1979. Agreement governing the activities of states on the moon and other celestial bodies. This entered into force on July 11, 1984. In Article 1, it says, The provisions of this agreement relating to the moon shall also reply to other celestial bodies within the solar system. So this isn't just a, an agreement of the moon. It's an agreement of the, the solar system in general. Anything other than Earth. And I've heard a lot of people saying that this is a violation of Article 3 of this agreement, where the moon shall be used by all state parties exclusively for peaceful purposes. But really what this is, is, is um, military activities. It's perfectly all right under this uh, UN agreement for NASA to be trying to mine water and set up colonization on the moon for further space exploration, okay? This is exactly what this agreement is. What this agreement does prohibit is the establishment of military bases. You know, and they're not going to tell you that they're going to put the military bases there. Even though their, their plans are on record and everything, they're not going to come out on, on NASA's website or space.com and announce any of this. Even though it's in their plans, it's in their consistency plans, you know, they have plans to militarize space. And I've done reports on it before. You could check it out at my YouTube channel, HarryThomas.info and stuff. And the information's up there. But Section 2 of Article 3 says something very interesting. Any threat or use of force or other hostile acts or threat of hostile act on the moon is prohibited. <clears throat> now, even though this isn't a military... Uh, experiment at all, is crashing a rocket, a satellite, whatever you want to call it, into the surface of a moon a hostile act? I would say it's a hostile act. I really would. Especially when you're, you're admitting that you're going to create a crater, and you're admitting that it's going to cause a plume of debris to come up so that you can use technology to try to mine, that, mine the water, and, and not even mine the water, get you to test to see if the water exists so that it can be mined. And this, uh, in, in Article 3, Section 4, says the establishment of military bases, installations, and fornications, the testing of any type of weapons, and conduct of military maneuvers on the moon is forbidden. So when people are saying, you know, this is an attack on the moon and stuff, this is a military operation, it's not considered a military operation. And therefore would not be con uh, uh, considered a violation of Article 3 of this um, Act. But, like I said, it depends on the definition of hostile act, what you think a hostile act is. And in Article 6 of this document, it says, number one, there shall be freedom of scientific investigation on the moon by all state parties without discrimination of any kind on the basis of equality and in accordance with national law. So this says, yeah, they have a, this is what uh, they have a right to do up there. And then Article 7 goes on to say, in exploring and using the moon, state parties shall take measures to prevent the disruption of the existence balance of its environment, whether by introducing adverse changes into that environment, and by its harmful contamination through the introduction of extra, extra environmental matter or otherwise. State parties shall also take measures to avoid harmfully affecting the environment of the earth through the introduction of extraterrestrial matter or otherwise. So, where a lot of people are saying this is a violated, violation of Article 6, I mean, of Article 3, it really isn't. It's a, really a violation of Article 7 of this agreement. Therefore, this is an illegal act. Therefore, we need to get a hold of our uh, representatives and NASA and our neighbors, let people know, force this issue out. We've only got three days before they're going to do this. Because this is 
a disruption of the existing balance of, of the moon's environment. And they're introducing adverse changes in that environment by launching this uh, spacecraft into it. That's a, that's a violation. And uh, we need to inform the Secretary General of the United Nations of this, even though that is a world body, and we really, uh, in my opinion, shouldn't even be involved in the, in the UN, and, and let alone taking uh, orders from them and giving up our sovereignty in any way. Now, Article 8 of this agreement says, State parties may pursue their activities in exploration and use of the moon anywhere on or below its surfaces subject to the provisions of this agreement. And it says here that they can land their space objects on the moon and launch them from the moon. But this says land their space. It doesn't say crash. It doesn't say create a uh, crater. It doesn't say anything like that at all. It says land. And again, this is a violation of Article 7. They're disrupting the existing balance of the environment. And it says state parties shall also take measures to avoid harmfully affecting the environment of the earth through an introduction of extraterrestrial matter or otherwise. And the extraterrestrial matter is that spacecraft, that rocket, that satellite that they're going to crash. Which, do they even realize if that could affect the tides? in the ocean or, or the gravitational we we rely on the moon for that gravitation oh this is this really is very disturbing article 11 says the moon is not subject to national appropriation by any claims of sovereignty by means of use or occupation or by any other means so this is saying that the moon is not sovereign that apparently we can crash this in there even though it's a violation of Article 7. So by sovereign means that we can set up permanent uh, human colonies, is what they're calling it, and NASA. That this is going to pave the way to set up human colonies on the moon. I mean, really, is the moon's resources or any of it so more important than our own? It says state parties have the right to expiration and use of the moon without discrimination of any kind. And it says here, the orderly and safe development of the natural resources of the moon, the rational management of those resources. So in this UN agreement, it does say that mining the water on the moon is, is uh, allowable. But it says the safe development. I'm not sure if this is safe at all. So again... This could be a violation of Article 11. I mean, if they don't really specify exactly how safe this crash is going to be. It's going to create an impact, a crater. And, and, and what I found here very interesting is Article 12 of this agreement, Section 3, states, In the event of an emergency involving a threat to human life, state parties may use the equipment, vehicles, installations, facilities, and supplies of other states' parties on the moon. So they're colonizing the moon in case there's an emergency involving a threat to human life. Do you actually think you're going to be saved on the moon? No, the elites are going to be up on the moon saving their own butts. This is not for you at all. You're going to benefit in no way whatsoever from this colonization of the moon. This is what we have. This is the steps to colonizing the moon for the uni for the elite, okay? And they already said they want military bases. Don't let them fool you. You know, this is a violation of UN. And if we allow it to happen, they're just going to keep going further and further and further along with their agenda. You know, I encourage you and I'm begging of you to get this special report out, to get this information out. We've only got three days, not even really two days, a day really, for hardcore resistance on this. This is a violation of UN Treaty Article 7. And you could do a Google search, Agreement Governing the Activities of States on the Moon and Celestial Bodies. Do a Google search, look at this agreement, you know, investigate my claims right now, and let... 
them know that this is a violation of Article 7, Section 1 of the UN Agreement. We've got to get the word out. Please visit 12160.org. Please visit fearlessbroadcasting.info. And you can always go for more information about the globalist elite's plan for the New World Order at harrythomas.info. I want to thank you for listening to this special report. And together, we will make a difference. Yeah.